Hello bookish beauties! I have a little bit of a different video for you today because I did something awesome last night. And while this video may not be directly book related, it is sort of book community related as it applies to a large population of the book community, which would be Nerd Fighteria and or Harry Potter fans. Last night I saw Hank Green, who is the brother of John Green, who wrote The Fault in Our Stars, among many other things, including Paper Towns. Hank has a band called Hank Green and the Perfect Strangers. There are also other various YouTubers like Wheezy Waiter, who have bands. Uh, his band is called the Driftless Pony Club. And basically it was an entire night of geek rockdom and nerd fighters and one big happy fun family. It had to be the funnest show I've ever seen. I laughed the whole time. It was honestly like hanging out with a bunch of my friends talking about stuff that we all love. It was so fun. The atmosphere in the club was just so warm and inviting and welcoming and you really, you never have that at a show like that. It was awesome. So the show was at the Racks in Pittsburgh and we got there about a half hour before the doors opened and we were just kind of hanging in line, even in line. A lot of people were talking and joking and having fun. The show was scheduled to start at 8, but I think it actually started about 20 minutes early, which I have never seen happen in my life. Hank Green came out and warmed up the crowd and he did all of the introductions and everything between each band and he is so funny. Like, okay, I love the Vlog Brothers. They're one of my favorite YouTubers, probably. The Vlog Brothers and Wheezy Waiter are my top two favorite YouTubers. I know that Hank can be funny, but I didn't realize how on the fly, in person, funny he was. Like, almost stand-up comedian. He could totally do some, like, geeky stand-up comedy and it would be hilarious. Organizing our office and they were like, where's the printer? I was like, you know what? I think it finally happened. I was like, in the, in the 90s it was like, the, pa the paperless office is coming. And you don't remember that. Hank told a lot of really funny stories, including one about a tub of hummus, which led to the hashtag gateway leg uh, legume. You have to say it just right. He also had the crowd, instead of just saying, woo, when somebody said, how y'all doing tonight? He had everybody say, I'm having emotions. And then by the end of the night, it also included two stomps and a clap. Apparently this is something he does at every show. He has people say something different. So for Pittsburgh it was, I'm having emotions. Which, yes, you are, because you're human. So that was awesome. Andrew, I think it's Hwag, Hag, ooh, sorry Andrew came on first and his channel is awesome. He makes songs out of the most random things and he does these challenge videos where there's one, he made an entire song out of nothing but wheels. He has another song using nothing but chairs and it's very like blue man groupy but cooler because he makes awesome videos to go with it. And um, like I said, instead of having specific instruments that are just percussion-y and unique, he uses anything to make songs, which is awesome. So unfortunately he did not bring a stack of tires or anything with him on stage, but he did, uh, I don't know what it's called, he's one of those little like recording things and he just recorded little pieces of beats on stage and made beats right there, which was awesome and he was really good. Then Rob Scallion came out and this guy has a thing, he plays an 8 string guitar a lot, but a lot of what he does deals with um, more of like the harmonics of a guitar. He'll do all these crazy like hammer-ons and pull-offs and tappy things and I played guitar a million years ago and I know they are super hard to pull off well and he did amazing and it was really complicated songs and his little fingers just were flying all over the place and it was so cool it was really different it was really good <laughs> then was harry and the potters 
Oh my goodness, if you're a Harry Potter fan, you would love these guys because every song is just silly and goofy and it's basically like one big Harry Potter joke. The whole time they're on stage, they dress like Harry Potter, they call themselves Harry Potter. At one point, there was a giant stuffed basilisk snake, which made its way onto the stage and through the crowd and it, oh my gosh, it was just so silly and so fun. <laughs> Just a freaking baby. Sing with us. So then, Wheezy Waiter. You should totally check out his channel because he is hilarious. His band, The Driftless Pony Club, came out and they were so good. They're not as silly as the other ones, but but they're so silly. No, nothing that happened last night was serious in any way, shape, or form. But they just rocked and they were awesome. And what else can you say about that? Check out their music. Um. Obviously, the crowd really knew their songs. They were singing along. Everybody was so into it. And then Hank Green and the Perfect Strangers came out. And it was all of that and then some because they are silly, but they are really good musicians, actually. And which <laughs> sounds like. What do you mean, actually, shouldn't they be if they're doing a concert? But it's really, it was one of those shows where it wasn't so much about the awesomeness of the music itself, but it's more about the silliness and the camaraderie, camaraderie and the community, if that makes sense. Like, especially Harry and the Potters, I don't think they really mean to be incredible, awesome musicians. They're just fun and silly, which is better, in my opinion. But anyway... Um, Hank's band was really good, and they were funny, and they would do random things like stop in the middle of a song and throw out a random joke. Yeah, and it was just, it was so fun. did a cover of End of the World as We Know It. They did a cover of Ghostbusters. On a call, Ghostbusters! On the visible sweeping in your bill. Who you gonna call? played the JK Rowling song. At the end of the night, they came back out for an encore. That was when they played Ghostbusters. But they also end in the night with the We Are All a Bat People song. <laughs> Which was hilarious to see Hank try to do live. But he did it. With the help of a fox hat and another random person's hat.
fun. There are a couple more dates. If you guys haven't seen them yet and you happen to live in one of the cities, definitely check them out because it was so much better and so much more fun than I expected. I'm not really sure what I expected, but it was better. And I stayed up entirely too late. The Bad People song is stuck in my head. And I have to say, the more I think about it, I think I agree with Hank. We are all bad people. So, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out all these guys' channels because they are just fun and silly. And they're all YouTubers. And, yeah, obviously, you like YouTube because you're watching this video. Which is on YouTube. So, Thanks for watching again, and don't forget to subscribe.